I think anyone who's paying attention has to recognize the dismal situation uh, regarding modern American education, compulsory education. And I find it that, that to be quite an oxymoron since children are naturally eager to learn, eager to learn. Um, why do you have to bring in compulsion when the natural tendency of children overwhelmingly is the love of learning new things? Why do you have to have a system that's compulsory? See, right there, that should uh, raise some red flags. For many years, years, I conducted seminars, workshops, classes, field trips. So I've been involved with the homeschooling movement. Yeah, for 15 years, I, I tutored maybe 120 uh, kids between the age of 9 and 17 in math and science and geometry. And then I could talk a little bit about how I would teach geometry by combining it with art. You know, when you say, well, what about traditional cultures? What, what is it that you say? Well, then there's a universal theme that we can find all over the, all over the world and distributed, you know, geographically all over the world, as well as, as distributed across the ages. And that is the uniting of heaven and earth by creating a, a social structure that, 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 serve to unite the celestial with the terrestrial. So that would be the underlying sort of the whole conceptual framework of the thing. And then within that, oh, well, the possibilities for getting into that are going to be pretty wide ranging. And that's when we can get into discuss, um, you know, that we'd have a sacred geometry master course with applications in design, art, crafts, music, et cetera. And archaeoastronomy, like, okay, what briefly, what is this archaeoastronomy and how would it apply? Well, archaeoastronomy is the study of the relationship between the heaven and earth uh, as depicted through the, the visual, you know, uh, just limited to the eye astronomy, uh, naked eye astronomy, what you can see with your own eyes and the relationship between the heaven and the earth. What modern monopolistic compulsory education does is it gets kids who are naturally and organically eager to learn, eager to learn. And puts them in this rigid, almost factory-like system and basically stifles their love of learning within a matter of a few years. This is what we have to get away from. We have to bring it back to that learning uh, is a joy, a joyful experience. And also, as important as the classroom is, to get out of the classroom into the field into the real world. And this is what I tried to do all the time with my classes is bring the students out into the real world. In, in other words, what I'm getting at is there's almost an infinite number of ways with a little bit of creative thought, how you would bring in real world problems to solve and to show this, this is how we use geometry. This is how we use trigonometry or algebra, right? When kids get that, it's a whole different ball game than looking at something that it seems so abstract that why would you even use this? What is this for? Why do I need to, what's the point of learning about a quadratic equation? So to me, the hands-on approach to education is critical.